Hey people, voice talking to you. Today we are looking at a game called Zed Zone Apocalypse Ahead. Now, if you're a fan of something like Project Zomboid and you like the hardcore zombie survival type games, this might be right up your alley. Problem is, it's still very early access. You can see beta up here in the corner, um, but right now there's still a lot missing. So, what does it have to offer right now? Is it any better than Zomboid? How is it different? That's what we're here to find out today. I've only got about three hours in the game myself, so this is still very much my first impressions. Uh, but if you want to check out the game for yourself, you can see a link for it down in the description. But without any further fanfare, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So, the character creator is a bit different than Zomboid. Uh, you'll notice you have four main stats. Strength, Agility, Stamina, and Energy. And those affect different things like your melee capabilities, your abilities with firearms, how long you can run, and your ability to craft and build things. And you'll notice, as I add and remove points, you can see the direct effects of them over here on the status panel, which is a definite benefit for a character creator. You also have specific skill points that you can allocate to everything from melee weapons, firearms, reloads, uh, and all the way down to max HP and stealth. Problem is, there's no description for a couple of these, so it doesn't tell you exactly what they do. Additionally, you have trait points that you can allocate to give your character quirks. Uh, so you can get really good at reading, you can be really good at pistols or revolvers or shotguns. Uh, there's also resistance to diseases or infection. Additionally, just like Zomboid, uh, you can give yourself some weaknesses to give yourself more points for strengths. So if you uh, are delicious and animals love to chase you down and chew on your ankles, you can also become cold-blooded so that killing those animals does not affect your morale. That's right, this game has morale. Uh, in terms of customization, there's not a whole lot going on. You can change your gender, uh, there's a couple of hairstyles to pick between, you can change your starting clothes and your face, but uh, as you can see with the art style, eh, not a whole lot changes, so it doesn't really matter all that much. So here's what we're working with. Uh, you can see there's definitely some UI gore that's gonna need to be fixed right here. This portrait is covering up some of the names of the stats. You can see numbers overlapping, starting over on this side. Um, but other than that, everything looks pretty nice. When you start out the game, it gives you a choice of a couple of weapons. Uh, I've seen it change a couple of times, but these are usually the four it starts out with. Since uh, I know that there's going to be an air rifle nearby, we're going to go ahead and pick out the baseball bat. Alright, here we are in... Oh, we've already got a guy running around. Uh, the infected in this game are a little different than something like Zomboid. They're not really... Uh, zombies. They're more like mutants. Let's see what we got. Uh, Kevlar suit, cape, crowbar, and note. Uh, so the way you level up in this game is also a bit different than something like uh, Zomboid. So the skill tree, you can see that there are different perks you can pick out, and these things called doses up here. These doses you craft from different parts of different zombies. Uh, so there are everything from plant zombies, animal zombies, pretty much anything with living tissue. Uh, whatever this virus is can seem to infect it. Ooh, free gun. I love free stuff. Lots of free stuff. Uh, I mean, I'm pulling them off of my, uh, assumedly my dead companions, but, uh... Oh, oops. Uh, my bad. Um, that's new. I haven't seen that happen before. Oh! Well, that guy just exploded. I don't... I... I'm gonna be honest with you. I have no idea what that was. Honestly, that's kind of the charm of this game. What? See, like, you see shit like that, and you have no idea what the heck it is, or why it's there. And when it comes to uh, sci-fi horror, that's kind of what you want. Uh, you can see those glowing parts on the zombies. Those are weak points. So we may be in a two-dimensional game here, but you can actually aim at specific parts of them. Later on in the game, uh, you saw that note and that computer piece that I picked up at the beginning. That's the CAS system. Um, once you get it fixed up uh, after sort of a, a difficult quest, uh, you can actually use sort of like a VAT style system from something like Fallout to aim at specific parts a little more distinctly. Um, problem is, when you don't have that, aiming can be complicated. Um, 
especially if you're like above or below your target it can be really difficult to aim at like there's a lot of noise coming from these doors here uh, you can see there's there's definitely still some stuff that's going to be cleaned up in the map like these bushes here spawning inside of a house is a little much um, it's also really hard to tell when doors are open or closed and like whether this is inside or outside of the building here Uh, another problem is that enemies can sometimes hit you through walls. So you see that, like, wood there? Um, I, there's an enemy banging on the other side of this door. If I walk up to it, he can actually hit me through the wall. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's, oh, there's, there's a few of you in there. So let's, like, let's, like, back up. Let's, you know, let's, maybe I'll find a different house. You guys, you guys can keep that one. That's, that's, that's their house now. I don't live there anymore. So there is sort of a rudimentary stealth system in this game. You can crouch. Um, there's not like an indicator of, uh, like enemy awareness. It's not super obvious where they're looking since we're in a sort of a 2D type situation here. Um, and I'm going to rag on the 2D gameplay a lot because... There's some inherent issues with it. Zomboid experienced that too in its early days. Um, ooh, stone axe. Sorry, we're being rudely... Sir, sir. Oh, sir, I'm going to ask you to keep your distance, please. Sir, 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 you're... What? You alright? You alright there, bud? You got... He's chill. Yeah, so I have to keep constantly pumping this air rifle. Um, I really do like this UI here. You see this down in the corner? This is my air gauge. Uh, so you can actually see how many rounds I have in the gun right now. And this air gauge goes all the way up to this blue section, which means I get it like a damage bonus when I fire off a shot. But it slowly declines back down to this green section. So for me to keep it in that high damage range, I have to constantly pump it. So this is the map. Um, I'm definitely a fan of the style with this. It's sort of like a, a little a little PDA that our guy is holding. You can see his thumbs hitting the different buttons to move it around. Uh, let's see, what do we have nearby? Oh yeah, in addition to the map, there's the character screens here. Uh, so you can see how much HP, stamina, and energy, all that stuff you have right here. And then this is where you will upgrade your character when you level up. Uh, I haven't found a way to level up yet, but I'm assuming we're gaining XP as we kill things. Uh, in the time that I played, I never leveled up, so it probably takes a little while. Oh god, we've got another car alarm. Well, um, ooh, ooh, um, I, I, it was a mistake, okay? I thought it was my car, I'm sorry. It, I, I, oh, 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 this is, well, okay, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, maybe I overreacted a little bit. Hold, hold, hold still, please. Hold, hold, hold still, please. There we go. Oh, oh, he puked on me. That's new. There we go. It's not so bad. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Okay. Uh, so some of the zombies you'll find will actually be wearing armor. This stuff I'm picking up off them, by the way. This is the uh, like the tissue samples that you'll use to make those. Is that a katana? Yes, please. So this is the the crafting menu here. Uh, you can actually well, it's a bit it's a bit odd. Um, you'll drag stuff into here, and this is what you'll use to craft. So you can't actually craft things from your backpack. You have to first take them and put them into the material section before you can craft stuff. So, uh, uh, oh, oh, sorry. I was busy. As I was saying, uh, you actually have to drag stuff into this material section before you can use it. So there's a material section, a tool section, and the output. Um, it's, it's a bit much, honestly. I personally think that you should be able to at least use like the materials and tools from your backpack. Uh, to create things, 
but this is where you'll make the doses from various mutant parts. Um, so you see there's plant mutated tissue, mutant nervous tissue, and then mutant hearts. Those come from higher level infecteds. There's all sorts... Man, these guys are loaded. Holy cow. Uh, you, you'll, you'll find various like different kinds of infected parts that you can use. Electrify component? Loaded was an understatement, it seems. Um, the other thing is, uh, for whatever reason, anytime you pick stuff up, it'll only auto-put it into your backpack. So you see these other sections here? These are like my pockets. So these are my pants pockets, my suit pockets, and I think that's my... Oh, I'm wearing two coats, so my other coat. Um, like, I can I can put stuff in here just fine, but for whatever reason, when I'm grabbing things, it doesn't auto-put them in here, which is something they're probably going to want to fix. Uh, so it looks like we found ourselves in a parking lot. Um, if you've noticed already, down in the corner, we have our meters. It's not quite like Zomboid, where you have to babysit everything uh, and sort of guess at how much hydration and whatnot you have because you've got meters and numbers. Uh, the other thing is, you see there's that temperature meter right underneath the time. Uh, that's your feels-like temperature, your body temperature, and uh, the ambient temperature. So it's raining right now, which means my body temperature is going to go down. You can freeze to death. Um, <laughs> uh, you know what? This, uh, this game's full of surprises. I didn't know you could push the cars around. Uh, you notice when I inspect the vehicle, uh, you can see the different parts of it. You can actually drive these, but you have to get the keys first. So... This one's out of fuel. Classic. When you inspect them, you'll see the different parts here. The problem with this one is battery's busted, uh, so it's not going to run. It's also out of fuel, but it's got a tube in the back, and I'm a loot goblin for random crafting components. This one also has a tube. Different material, though. The other thing you'll notice is, since it's raining, uh, I can, like, pick up water from the ground, but it's contaminated and I need to boil it first. Uh, speaking of which, it's starting to get dark, so let's see if we can't find a house or something to spend the night in nearby, and maybe I can find a crafting workbench, because the crafting in the game requires different workbenches for different items. Uh, if you want to make... Oh! Ah! 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 What are you? I don't know what that is, but... I'm not pleased about its existence. I'm gonna be honest with you. So, you see all this stuff that he dropped? This is the stuff that I'm gonna use to make those, uh... doses to level myself up. Those are the weird variants that I was talking about. So it looks like there's a gas station a little bit to the west of us. I'm gonna try and make my way over there, and hopefully they have a crafting workbench, or maybe a bed inside. Alright, so we have made it to the gas station. The soup, the, 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 yeah, mm-hmm, that. Uh, so you can actually pick locks depending on what you have with you. So I can actually just bust it down with an axe or a bat if I want, or I can break it open with a crowbar, or if you have something like a screwdriver or an actual lockpick, there's a little bit of a lockpicking minigame. Uh, that you would find in something like Skyrim, where you actually have to turn the lock. Oh, well, that's not great. This is a supermarket. And, uh, that's gonna blow up in a second. Uh, later. Uh, update. He's following me. Help. Uh, help. 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 Uh, help. Help. Please. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh god. Please? Please go away. Ow! Oh, I am on fire. 
Uh, there is a dodge roll in this game. It's not super useful in melee combat. Uh, you'll find that m melee combat in this game in general is pretty wonky. Um, so you can like charge up and swing, but it's really hard sometimes to tell if you are making contact. Well, that was a bust, um, but there is what looks to be a traitor up here. So let's pop in and see what he has first. Uh, so the NPCs in this game are pretty rudimentary at the moment. You can really just sort of buy and sell things to them. Um, they'll have certain things that they'll buy for more and certain things they'll buy for less. Uh, this guy really just sells like spray paint and parts. So things for crafting and uh, customizing equipment. We'll see if one of these lots is maybe open where we can find a bed. Let's receive a free laser cannon um, from the spider robot on the weapon testing ground. You know, that sounds safe. I'm sure that won't get me killed. So this guy's actually selling some pretty decent stuff, too. Um... Too bad I don't need any of it. Alright, so let's see what we can craft right now. Uh, I want to make a couple of doses, see if we can level some stuff up. Well, this place was kind of a bust, but at least if we find the weapon testing ground and the spider robot, we can get a free laser cannon. Um, more than anything, this is starting to remind me kind of of the style of... Uh, I don't know if any of you have played... Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. Um, the way that they added Apocalypse Ahead makes me kind of wonder, because it's got the weird, like, cyberpunk uh, angle going on in the background, the weird, like, robots and plant mutants stuff. Good shit. Oh, there's another one. Hi, weird plant thing. Alright, so I just finished upgrading a couple of things now that we had some doses. I got us some attack speed increase, aiming, and then I increased our max stamina and stamina recovery. We've got one left of each, so I think I'm going to go ahead and get some more damage for everything. And... what does this take? Oh, so the, to uh, unlock different crafting like technology skills, you actually just have to make different things. So sort of like a, a learning system. I like that. So you notice this revolver is a bit different than the one I already have. Uh, there are different like weapon parts and stuff you can find. So I've got a laser sight and a uh, melee electrify component. But to add these things, i got to find a workbench first. So let's keep looking. And I'll get back to you once I find a workbench. Oh, this looks cheery. Um, certainly these aren't... Yep, yep. Their corpses. All right. Well. Hmm. That's not great. Surely they'll understand, right? They'll. They'll. They. Oh. Oh. You know, I don't think they get it. It was. It was just. It was a joke. It was. It was. Oh God. I am on fire currently, which is not my favorite thing, to be honest. All right, well, you know what? On the bright side, we can warm ourselves up with the fire started by the exploding zombie people, which is great. We're hurt pretty bad um, after that little escapade. Uh, you'll notice that it's actually marked that we have injuries on different parts of our body. Uh, if you go to your inventory, you can actually see the damage. Individual parts of your body can be damaged um, and eventually break, I suppose. Um, it's not like they'll just fall off, um, but you'll have to find... Oh, I'm stepping in acid. Uh, you'll have to find, like, specialized medical parts to heal yourself. All right, it is morning. Uh, we just camped at this guy's house because I was tired of being attacked by zombies in complete darkness. 
but now we can get back on the road and hopefully... F oh, wait, hang on. Yoink. Uh, now we can hopefully find ourselves a workbench. And I can upgrade my weapons. These guys are still on fire, believe it or not. But he has spam. And a Molotov. That is miraculously intact. Ooh, what do we got here? Yo, bigger backpack. We love bigger backpack. Uh, you can actually nest inventory items in this game if you want to cheese it. Uh, so I've got this backpack inside my backpack. And it's got all my stuff in it. Uh, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to cheese it a little bit. But only until we get where we're going. And then I'll switch things out. They're probably going to fix that in the future. Otherwise, uh, I'm not going to stop abusing it. This looks like a mess. Oh, God, what is that? This game's got a lot of wonky stuff going on, but the style of it is completely on point. Uh, oh, well. See, if you look in the, the corner there, it sort of tells you, like, how much damage you deal to things and whatnot, but it'll also tell you when the infected are very tired, because, uh... I don't know. They like to make that known. Imitation military uniform. I'll take that. And 20 bucks. Uh, the, like, the pixelated art of this game is... It's kind of hard to tell what things are sometimes. Um, but honestly, that kind of adds to it. It's it's creepy. Let's, uh, let's deal with him real quick. I'm running low on bullets, though, so we're gonna... Oh, sorry, corpse. I didn't mean to... See, uh, there's, <laughs> there's a problem with the melee in this game. Uh, you notice I ended up chopping up this corpse here by complete accident? Well, that's because uh, the model for my katana, even though I'm swinging directly in front of me, still swings over my head, so it's gonna hit stuff above and in front of me as well. Um, it's a real problem when you're fighting indoors, especially at your own base. I ended up completely uh, destroying my own base by accident one time because I was fighting indoors, and I ended up smacking the walls even though I was aiming in front of me. Whoa, you're fast. Ah, this is one of those armored ones I was talking about. You see all the spikes through his body? They'll actually deflect bullets. You got a Santa hat. It's a little late for Christmas, my dude. Did you... Yeah, you, see, you hear that little ting? That's my bullets bouncing off of them. Uh, that's where the sort of the CAS system comes in handy later. Oh, oh, I didn't see you. The other problem is it's really hard to tell sometimes whether they have helmets or not. Um, this guy is pretty obvious because he's got a bunch of spikes through him. But other ones, it's really hard to tell if it's their hat or their hair or what. I'm heading west to this gun shop over here to see if maybe they've got a workbench. Ooh, spam. Ah, hey, so I, I'm having a snack. Excuse you. Well, that's my last bullet. All right, well. There we go. What do you got? 18 bucks? Yoink. Mine now. All right, so we're in really bad shape. I'm going to try and craft up some bandages real quick. So I'm going to rip up these pants, make some bandages. Oh, okay. Well, you just couldn't wait your turn, could you? You look like a soldier zombie. You got something nice on you? No. Empty water bottle in it. Guys, come on now. Give me, like, there we go. Ooh, free dagger. Daggers in this game are used for more than just, like, butchering enemies. You can actually do executions. So if you knock an enemy to the ground, sort of like in State of Decay. In State of Decay, you know, if you knock... Is that a... Never mind. In State of Decay 2, if you knock down, like, a juggernaut or something, you can climb onto their back and stab them to death. Uh, it's just like that in this game. The animations aren't, aren't quite as up to snuff, but uh, it's cool. It's cool to see. That guy's, uh, he's, he's flipping out a little bit. Hey, hey, 
Hey, listen. Sir? There's one of two ways we can do this, and I've already decided which one it is. Ooh, a gas mask? Yoink. You see this, like, fog and stuff over here? Uh, sometimes you'll find weird plants, sort of also like Cataclysm, like mushrooms and stuff that'll give you weird diseases. Uh, so I'm gonna stay away from there for now, while I chop these guys up. Oh, that guy's got spiky head. He's gonna be a problem. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Ow! Oh, shit! So, that guy's got plant arms, I guess. Um, so <laughs> sometimes they'll just have weird mutations on regular zombies. So, th th let go of me. Like, let, let, sir, stop, stop. Keep your tendrils to yourself, please. I know I said I wasn't going to go over here, but they're kind of backing me into a corner. I'm going to, let's, let's, let's take this up around this way, if we could, gentlemen. Don't, 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 don't. I, there we go. God, there's a bunch of you. Oh, he's a plant zombie too. All right, all, okay. We're, oh, my katana broke. This is a problem. Um, crowbar. Smack, 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 smack. Yeah, as you can see, the uh, the melee combat is not exactly thrilling. Uh, you can sort of just smack them and roll out of the way. God, you guys are freaking everywhere. Give me a break, man. Ooh, a shoe. Yoink. Leave me alone. I'm busy. Okay, with that dealt with, uh, let's switch to our big spiky bat, which we no longer have. For some reason. Oh, it's in my other backpack. I forgot. Here. There we go. Now, let's see what's in here. Is it already unlocked? Yes. Let's close that. Is there a workbench in here anywhere? That looks promising. Let's see, we got fire axes. The really nice thing is, like, a lot of these shelves and stuff, you can actually see what you put on there. Um, so I know that there's a spear over there. What is this, like a pool cue? A fishing rod. Pickaxe up there that looks like a machete. Not seeing a workbench anywhere. But I know you can make one. So let's see if we can't make one, then. And I can show you guys some of the modifications. We need rock, stone, and a stone hammer. Uh, the building system is a bit wonky, but there's all sorts of things that you can just like pick up and move around, which is neat. Uh, so let's go get some materials. I'm gonna stash some stuff here. Maybe this gun shop can be our little base. Is that a grenade? Yoink. All right, so looking around the gun shop, I found a couple of things that will be useful. I found a little stone pickaxe here. And now we can go gather some materials, we'll build ourselves a workbench. A rock! Huzzah! Now you can see the riveting material gathering gameplay where I repeatedly smack this rock. Uh, and everything around me as well. Personally, I think they should probably have a button near these like resource nodes if you have the proper tool in hand where you can just hold down the button. Um, maybe even if you don't have the tool in hand. It's just if it's in your backpack, because this is slow, to say the least. Uh, another problem I noticed with uh, some of the UI stuff is, like, this currently is broken. Um, you see the little durability in green there? Uh, it's not super obvious. I think a meter underneath it might be great, but because I don't know how much the max durability of the item is. This one says 58. I don't know if that's its max durability, if it's a half or what, until I actually put it in my slot. Now you can see it down here, but in the inventory would be a lot more useful. So, I have bandaged up my head, at least. Um, the difference between using bandages and actually 
bandaging an area is using an bandage, a bandage re recovers some health, um, but dragging the bandage from your inventory onto your body will actually bandage the area and restore some integrity to the specific body parts. You also notice in this area, uh, there's like specific defense values for each of your body parts. Uh, there's also um, the amount of blood you have in your body, so you can bleed out. After another fantastic night of sleeping on the cold floor of an abandoned gun shop, we are back chopping down trees. We've got our materials, and now we just throw them into the table over here. And we should be good. Problem is, I don't have a stone hammer. Um, and it turns out a regular hammer just won't do. Uh, so we have to actually craft one first. Alright, now we can actually build our workbench, and I can show you here. So, now we've got a lot more stuff to work with. Um, crossbows, needles, springs, uh, explosives, uh, and this stuff will actually increase as you upgrade your skill tree and get into deeper technology. There's also forges, uh, gunsmithing stations, modification benches, and stuff like that you can build. Uh, for right now, this is sort of just the regular workbench. And yes, that is a grappling hook. Um, if you check the skill tree, there is a, uh, a, gr a grapple ability that not only can you use to, like, pull yourself around the map, you can actually pull enemies to you. It's pretty sick. Alright, so I put some stuff away. Um, you can see now my bat is electrified, which is pretty sick. Um, there's a couple of different, like, alternative modifications you can add to melee weapons, like puncture stuff, uh, electricity... Yeah, so our biggest problem right now is we're thirsty. So, uh, let's go find somewhere with some water, and then I think we'll call it. Uh, right now, I'm looking at the gas station southeast. We tried there before, but realized it was full of madness. Let's go try it again, shall we? The sound in this game is really great. Like, I can already hear stuff from up here, even though I can't necessarily see it. Hmm. Don't like that. I hear roaring sounds. I'm not, like, super enthused about the idea of finding out where they're coming from. But they are in the direction we need to go. So... Oh, there he is. Isn't that nice? I don't know what you are, but I really don't want to find out either. Hey, 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 hey. Chill, chill, chill. There's a lot of, like, explodey dudes around here. Oh. Oh, wh what? What is... You know... Oh, it spits out little guys. Gross. Oh... No thank you. Actually, I've decided... I don't want to deal with you. Ew. Leave me alone. Okay, I think we've almost got him. Man, I just want a soda. Can I, like, sneak in here, grab, like, a Mountain Dew or, like, a Powerade and just, like, leave? Or we gotta, like, do we gotta throw hands for that? Oh, here we go. There's an execution. Here we go. This is what we're looking for. What we got here? Sh clothing. Please tell me there's something in these water bottles. Yes. Big sip. Big sip. Big sip. Is that a metal water bottle? Hell yeah. Yoink, yoink. Gas cans over here. Looks like survival gear. This place has got some good stuff in it, actually. 
Uh, yeah, well, this has been uh, Zed Zone Apocalypse Ahead. Uh, overall, I like the game. There's a lot wrong with it still. Um, it's very wonky to play, um, and the people who aren't familiar with it are definitely going to have some trouble off the bat. Uh, I think there's definitely some things that need to be streamlined before they put the game out. But, uh, yeah, uh, as far as competition with something like Zomboid, um, I don't know if I would call this competition... Um, more like just a distant cousin, because this game doesn't really have the same sort of threat level that Zomboid has, and Zomboid, if you get hit by one thing, that's it. Um, if you get bitten, it's over. Uh, in this game, you can, you can take quite a few hits. I have not been careful with my combat in this game, and I'm still doing just fine. Um, so, you know, that's not a bad thing. Uh, some people want a more casual experience with something like Zomboid, and, uh, well, this gas station carries 300 Magnum, I guess. Um... But yeah, if you're looking for a more casual kind of Zomboid, this might be right up your alley. It's still got all of the deep-seated survival mechanics, it's got tons of items, um, and it's not done yet, is the best part. So there's still a lot more that they're planning to add. I don't know what all this is, but I'm picking it up. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm the voice in your head. Uh, thanks for listening, and hopefully you'll hear from me again real soon.